Today's list is full of rumblings and rumors and conspiracy theories that all have to do with the occult. Here is part 2 of the top 10 Hollywood celebrities who sold their soul to the devil. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot we have Elvis Presley. There have been rumors and conspiracy theories surrounding Elvis Presley's success and his alleged deal with the devil to achieve fame and fortune. Some fans and theorists believe that Presley's success was not solely due to his musical talent but rather his involvement in the occult and the supernatural. One of the most prevalent rumors surrounding Presley's alleged deal with the devil is the fact that he was born a twin, but his brother Jesse Guerin was stillborn. According to the rumor, Presley made a pact with the devil to trade his twin brother's life for his own success. I personally think that that is a particularly cruel rumor and conspiracy, and a much more on the side of those who believe that Presley's interest in mysticism and the occult was evidence of his involvement in dark practices. Some point to his love for black magic and spiritual as proof that he made a deal with the devil. Despite the persistent rumors, there is no concrete evidence that Elvis Presley ever sold his soul or made a deal with the devil. These rumors are likely just a product of his enduring fame and the allure of the supernatural. In our number 9 spot today, we have Justin Bieber. I'll be honest, I am a believer. So it was news to me when I found out that some people think he too has sold his soul. Some have pointed to his music videos and lyrics, as well as his public behavior and controversial actions as evidence of his supposed pact with the devil. People believe that Bieber's meteoric rise to fame and success at a young age was too sudden to be natural, and that he must have made a deal with the devil to achieve it, while others point to his lyrics, music videos, and imagery, which they believe contain hidden symbols and messages associated with the occult. Many of these claims are most likely the result of speculation, rumors, and conspiracy theories fueled by Bieber's controversial personal life and the internet's tendency to spread sensationalized stories stories, but hey, who am I to say for sure? In our number 8 spot today we have Elizabeth Bathory. Elizabeth was a Hungarian noblewoman who lived from August of 1560 to August of 1614. She was born into one of the oldest and most powerful families in Transylvania, and she was well educated and ran various estates and bore many children. Oh, and this is all happening while she is also killing young women and bathing in their blood. Yeah, weird and gross and also terrible. Elizabeth is known for killing her servants and bathing in their blood as she believed it would keep her young. Not only this, but she is also said to have made a deal with the devil in order to gain this sort of power. All accounts of Elizabeth remember her as a terrible, evil person. It is said that her number of victims most likely ranges somewhere from 175 to 200, but some people claim that it might be as many as 600. It is no wonder she is referred to as Countess Dracula. In our number 7 spot today, we have Madonna. Madonna has been accused of making a deal with the devil for her success and longevity in the music industry. The rumors have persisted over the years due to her use of provocative and controversial imagery in her performances, as well as her supposed connections to secret societies and the occult. Some people believe that her massive success in the music industry and her often controversial behavior are all signs that she made a deal with the devil. Others point to her use of religious imagery in her music and performances which they believe is a deliberate attempt to subvert traditional religious values. Some people just can't get over that the girl wants to have fun, and she's been having fun, in the public eye, for decades now. I get it, Madonna gets a little carried away from time to time, but that doesn't mean the woman sold her soul, or does it? In our number 6 spot today we have Johann Faust. According to the stories passed down about this man, it is said that he was an alchemist and astrologer who lived in Germany during the early 1500s. It is said that in his plight to become the smartest man in the world, while also enjoying as many earthly pleasures as possible, he summoned the help of a demon named Mephistopheles. There are terrible stories about how cruel and truly evil this man was, and as a professor, it is said that he looked down on everyone else. Local priests apparently believed that he had actually made a deal with the devil in which he sold his soul to him, and there are also stories that say his pet dog was actually a demon who was able to shapeshift. During his life, he did publish several grimoires, and in 1540, while conducting some sort of alchemaic experiment, his laboratory exploded. Just thought that was a fun little anecdote to share with you guys. In our number five spot today, we have Michael Jackson, definitely one of the celebrities who has had the most connections to the occult. Some fans and theorists believe that Jackson's success, talent, and enduring popularity could not be attributed solely 
solely to his hard work and dedication, but rather to a supernatural pact that he had made. One of the most persistent rumors surrounding Jackson's supposed deal with the devil was that he made the pact at the age of 12. According to this rumor, Jackson traded his soul to achieve success in the music industry. Others have pointed to Jackson's fascination with the occult and his interest in spiritual practices as evidence of his involvement in the dark arts. Some also cite his dramatic physical transformations as proof of his alleged deal with the devil. At the end of the day, did Michael Jackson have a deal with the devil? Well, I guess I'll just let you decide for yourself. It's my way of saying no, none of these people did because the devil doesn't exist. In our number four spot today, we have Aleister Crowley. This man is quite well known for being the leader of an occult group, and this really does stem back even into his childhood. It is said that quite early on, Aleister started calling himself the Beast and the Antichrist, and he is even quoted as saying that God and Satan fought over his soul. In one of his books, he wrote, quote, I was in the death struggle with self. God and Satan fought for my soul those three long hours. God conquered. Now, I have only one doubt left. Which of the twain was God? Many people believe that perhaps he made a deal with Satan, but it is possible that these are just rumblings based on Alistair's teachings and beliefs. In our number three spot today, we have Beyonce, Queen B, an absolute living legend. Like her husband though, who we spoke about on part one, Beyonce has also been accused of being a member of the Illuminati and selling her soul for fame and fortune. The claim that Beyonce sold her soul is a conspiracy theory that has been circulating online for several years. However, there is no evidence to support this claim. Just don't want the f***ing B people to come for me. <laughs> belief that Beyonce sold her soul likely stems from her success, which some people may find hard to believe without a supernatural explanation. I do understand that one. I mean, did you see Homecoming? Additionally, her music and performances often incorporate religious and spiritual imagery, which may further fuel the rumors. Also forgot to include that people think she's a part of the Illuminati. Okay, that's important. People think that she is directly related to a satanic organization. The success of talented and hardworking individuals like Beyonce is typically the result of dedication, perseverance, and talent, but some people just swear it's soul selling. In our number two spot today, we have Theophilus of Adna. For this one, we are taking it back a little bit, all the way to 538 AD. Theophilus of Adna was a cleric in the Roman Catholic Church. So basically, one day he was elected to become the new bishop, but he ended up denying the offer as it is said that he wanted a more priestly sort of position instead of one with all of that power and responsibility. It is said that he wanted the position of archdeacon, which would have seen him controlling where the donation money went. So apparently in passing on this bishop position, he thought that if he gave this bishop position to his rival, then his rival should at least be grateful enough to give him the position he wanted. But of course, this did not happen. The new bishop gave away the seat that Theopolis wanted and instead gave him the position of being a humble cleric. This made Theo super angry and this is when he thought that maybe the church isn't as holy as he once thought they were. This is when he decided to summon the help of Satan. He ended up signing a contract with Satan in his own blood. He denounced Jesus and the Virgin Mary and it is said that with the help of Satan he was once again voted into the bishop position and this time he accepted. At this point in time it is said that he felt so guilty he confessed to this deal with the devil and the priest who he confessed to decided that they should burn the blood signed contract. For a second, Theo looked up, but then suddenly he collapsed and died. Many people believe that it was because he had broken his contract. And finally, in our number one spot today, we have Jonathan Moulton. Jonathan is a man who was born in 1726 and he was known for his military career. He served in King George's War as well as in the French and Indian Wars, but after his service is where the story really starts. Basically, after his time fighting was over, he went on to become one of New England's wealthiest men. This caused heads to swivel and rumors to swirl because this wasn't something that was normally seen. This all gave way for the rumor that Jonathan had struck his luck of fortune because he was actually working with the devil. People began to say that for financial gain, he in turn gave his eternal devotion and even his soul over to the devil. The devil would visit him every month in order to fill up his boot with gold. You know what happens with things like this though, people get greedy. It is said that despite this lavish lifestyle he was already living, he wanted more and this led to him making the mistake of trying to trick the devil. He cut a hole in the floor above his basement and placed a boot over it which also had a hole in the heel. Of course he did this so that when the devil came with the gold he'd get a whole basement full rather than just a boot. But 
the devil certainly caught on. From there, it is said that he burned down Jonathan's house along with all of the gold that lay inside. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host, Livia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Bye!